In today's video, I'm going to show you how to build a secure website with Cloudflare Enterprise. Now, Cloudflare Enterprise is a terrific product. The problem is usually its cost. As we check out Cloudflare's pricing page, we can see the enterprise plan doesn't even have a price attached to it. Generally, if you actually talk to an expert like they say here, you're going to end up with a quote somewhere in the vicinity of $2,000 to $5,000 a month. I'm going to show you today a much more cost-effective solution for adding the enterprise Cloudflare to your own website. A lot of us are probably already familiar with Cloudflare's free plan. This is a really nice way of adding some security and content delivery network features to any website. And for free, it's obviously really a great product. Um, you get that web application firewall and a bunch of other nice features. Um, what I'm going to focus on today is the enterprise product because uh, the things you get here are very difficult to get from any other hosting provider. Bot mitigation in particular, this is the most dangerous cyber threat at the moment and Cloudflare Enterprise probably has the best in class when it comes to uh, bot mitigation. The other really key thing is in terms of performance, network prioritization is only offered for the enterprise customers. So enterprise customers are always going to get the net best network performance speed. I'm going to show you some benchmarks later in the video to show you how much difference that actually makes. And finally, the other uh, factor I'd like to show you for the enterprise plan is there's a number of uh, security compliance standards that are only available on the enterprise plan. So if I scroll down here, compliance, you've got um, ISO, SOC, and PCI. Um, these are available on the business and the enterprise plan. A lot of uh, clients, particularly government and corporate clients, you're only going to be able to work with them if you meet those standards as well. So really good way of getting uh, com uh, compliance with standards and getting clients that you wouldn't otherwise be eligible to get if you weren't on these level of plans. And I'm going to obviously show you how to get this much more cheaply um, than this one and even actually cheaper than this one. So really this tutorial is going to be very valuable for anyone running mission critical websites like customer relationship management, learning management systems, and e-commerce in particular, um, particularly for the performance benefit you'll get. Any uh, improvement is going to result in sales conversions. Amazon have done that study that shows uh, 0 0.1 seconds improvement in page load, roughly works out to a plus 1% improvement in sales conversions. So you can quickly see any budget spent in improving your page load speed is really going to pay off in terms of sales. And in terms of security, this is going to be really critical, especially for uh, personal critical data like healthcare data, educational data, government project data. That really needs enterprise grade security. If you are a website that's hosting a large number of files, large number of data sets, uh, they can be vulnerable to web scraper bots. And this is having that bot protection is going to be very, very valuable. So um, I'd definitely flag that as a valuable add on and security compliance standards. This is going to be make or break for a lot of corporate clients, government clients. Getting those security compliance is going to be something you don't get with a lot of web hosts. Um, but this method is a very cost effective method of achieving those compliance standards. So the method we're actually going to use today to get Cloudflare Enterprise onto a website for a very low price is by combining it with Cloudways hosting. So Cloudways have a commercial agreement with Cloudflare and you're able to get access to uh, this enterprise deal on a uh, Cloudways plan for a small add-on. So basically, if you have tried Cloudways, there is a um, free trial. I'll put the link in the description if you want to check it out, but you can actually add on a um, Cloudflare enterprise plan to any domain from only $4.99 a month. So that is insanely good value in terms of being able to add Cloudflare enterprise onto a website for that price. So I'm basically going to step you through the complete process step by step of building a WordPress website, um, starting from just getting a domain name, getting Cloudway set up and linking it up with Cloudflare Enterprise. So if all that sounds interesting, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we'll need is a name for our site. So namecheap.com is what I like to use generally. Ideademo.site is what I'll use for our test domain here. Um, .site is really quite cheap. That's what I'm using for a demonstration. We'll see if it's available here. Looks like it's all good. So just 98 cents a year for this .site. .com is usually what I use for something more serious, but um, let's go through the checkout here. And you'll notice that um, domain privacy is enabled. That's free. So and auto renew. I've turned that off, but if you want to automatically renew the domain every year, um, you can turn that one on. Let's go through the checkout process. You can create an account or you can log into an existing account. I'll just quickly fill this one out here and untick the marketing and let's go ahead and continue. 
And remember, go through the payment method, just fill out your details there, go through the checkout process after you're done, and then we can get into our dashboard. Okay, now from our dashboard, we can see our new domain is ready to go. We can manage that one a bit later after we set up our hosting. So for our hosting, we're going to use Cloudways. Now, um, this is a good way to get access to that Cloudflare enterprise for a very low price. So um, head to that link in the description. You get a three-day free trial as well. Um, ideaspot.com, I use slash Cloudways is the link you want to go to and start for free there. And you just have to fill in your details to create an account here. And where it says I have a promo code, make sure you fill this one out as well as put in Ideaspot in here. Um, that code is actually going to give you guys an extra 20% discount. So thanks to Cloudways for organizing that code for us. So um, Ideaspot goes in there, agree to the terms and then sign up. So after signing up and logging in, your dashboard will look something like this. We want to create a new server under my servers there, launch a new server and make a WordPress application, the latest version of WordPress, choose a name, a server name and a project name. And you can choose DigitalOcean or Vulture, Linode, Amazon or Google. Um, I tend to find that the best uh, value is either DigitalOcean or Vulture. Vulture is slightly higher performance if you go for their high frequency server. That's what we're gonna use today. Um, that's what I personally like to use generally. And for the server size, we can choose this down here. We can actually scale depending on if we have a larger requirement for traffic or not. Um, if you've got a small website, we can actually scale it right down and you'll save a lot of money using the minimum. So um, one gigabyte is what we're gonna use for this demonstration. You can run WordPress on one gigabyte just fine. Um, Cloudways gave us some uh, guidance here. So if you've got between 30 to 70K page views per month, um, one gigabyte will do just fine for a typical WordPress website. So I'm gonna go with that uh, for our new site here. All right, now scrolling down, we'll see our location. You just want to choose something close to your audience here. I've got mine set to the USA in New York. So that's pretty good for an English speaking audience generally. Lots of different locations to choose from. Just choose something that's near to your particular audience or if not, just go with the USA typically. It's worth mentioning this is pay as you go. So you only have to use the hours that you actually use. So if you only use it for a few days, if you're just testing something, you only pay a very small amount. So you don't have to pay for the whole month. I just thought I'd mention that as well. So let's launch this server here and you can invite friends. You'll get $50 of free uh, hosting credit if you do. Optional, of course, um, close that one out. We can see it will take 13 minutes to set the server up. So let's come back when that is all done. Okay, so after 13 minutes, we've got our green icon here. Our server's all up and running. Under applications, we can see our WordPress sites all ready to go there. And if we open up our WordPress site here, we can see all the details. We're going to go to domain management here. We're going to add our domain. This is the domain we bought earlier on Namecheap. That is ideademo.site. Pop that domain name in there and save the changes. And we can see our domain is there now. What we want to do is set that one to primary. So go there and make it primary and click set as primary. And it's going to say the DNS records for the domain must be set to the server's IP address to work. I'll show you how to do that in Namecheap where we bought our domain, but wherever you bought your domain, you'll need to do this step here. So let's get our IP address from the access details. The public IP will be there. Copy that one and head over to your Namecheap panel here. So under manage your domain, we can go to our advanced DNS here. And this is where we can change our DNS records. So we're going to add a new record and pop those in here. So we can delete the default ones that came with the domain when we bought it. Um, go ahead and delete those ones out. And now it's just a case of adding in an A record. We're going to post that um, to the root. So that's an at symbol there. Put that IP address in there. So that's our IP address for our Cloudflare, Cloudflare server, Cloudway server rather, and a C name record goes to www and we put our domain in here. So that is ideademo.site here. Just paste that in um, ideademo.site or type it in manually um, and we're going to save all those changes. At this point, you should probably wait 15 to 30 minutes just to make sure these DNS changes propagate across the internet and your next step will go okay um, when we add our SSL certificate here. So back to Cloudways, we're going to add our SSL certificate and we're going to have a free Let's Encrypt certificate. We just have to fill this in with our domain name and email address and this should be okay. Um, it looks like all good. We've got a green success message there and we've got auto renew on our SSL certificate. So that's pretty nice. Under access details here, and um, we can actually access our website. So we've got a basic WordPress site. It's all ready to go here. And um, we can see the connection is secure. So the um, SSL is working okay. So just check that. 
Um, all good. We can get to our admin panel here. It'll ask us to log in. On our Cloudways panel here, we can get our actual username and password, and we can actually copy them by clicking those buttons there. So let's just copy that info there. We can log into our WordPress um, admin panel um, through there. So just hit log in, and we have a functioning WordPress site. So once we have a functional WordPress site, then we can add Cloudflare Enterprise. So at this step, we're going to start from our Cloudways dashboard. We can head to our application here, head to My Applications, and we can get our WordPress application there, and you'll find Cloudflare down here. And as we can see here, we've got some fairly attractively priced plans for adding Cloudflare Enterprise to your Cloudways website. So um, for one to four domains, it's under $5 a month. And it, uh, as you scale up, you actually get cheaper deals for um, Cloudflare Enterprise. Now, Cloudflare Enterprise, if you try and get your own Cloudflare Enterprise account, it's obviously very expensive. Unless you're a big hosting company, you can actually scale and provide your customers with good deals like we've got here. But anyway, let's go ahead and add in our domain, ideademo.site, and enable it. That step does take a few seconds, but after that is finished, you can view the CNAME records here and we need to update our DNS records to match here. So we need CNAME records for at and www, point them to secure at cloudways.cloud. We can copy that here. I'm gonna head back to Namecheap under our advanced DNS here, and we're gonna change those records to CNAME records. So we want the CNAME record and for at, and we're gonna point that to, rather than the IP address, we're gonna point it to secure at Cloudways Cloud. And same with the CNAME www record. So we've got two CNAME records for at www, point them to that and save them in. And that should look like this once you're finished. So head back here and close that out. And as we can see here, it says domain not live under status. So this does take a few minutes for this to get ready. So I'm gonna come back in 15 minutes and check this one again. Okay, so after waiting about one hour, this is active now. I just refreshed the page and it's changed to green. So just be really patient um, with that. But this is all you really need. Cloudflare Enterprise is up and running on your website now. So you'll experience that performance and security improvement from Cloudflare Enterprise. So after setting up WordPress, I did load WooCommerce on here with a Cadence Starter Template and I tested it in three different ways here. So with Cloudways, Cloudflare Enterprise, that was the fastest, Cloudflare's free plan and Cloudways only here. So these are the page load times for your WooCommerce shop page, as we can see. Um, half a second with the Cloudflare Enterprise. That sort of illustrates how good the um, network prioritization is. As we mentioned earlier, the user experience with a half a second load time improvement on a shop page is going to boost your conversions roughly by about 5%. So um, you can do the math on how valuable that would be for an e-commerce store or for any uh, website where the user experience is valuable. It's probably also worth pointing out that the Cloudways only in this case was actually a little bit quicker than the Cloudways free plan here. So Cloudways by itself running those Vulture high frequency servers does give you pretty good performance. Sometimes it's often better than Cloudflare's free plan. And the other test I checked was just the raw um, time to first byte to actually connect to the server. In this case, having the Cloudflare network is a very obvious benefit. Even the free plan um, by uh, distributing your website across a large network across Cloudflare, even the free plan gives you a good benefit in terms of the time to first byte. So um, Cloudflare Enterprise, obviously um, 82 milliseconds, extremely fast in terms of the time to first byte and um, then the free plan and then Cloudways only. I should probably add this is the average speed across four different locations. So um, North America, the UK, Asia and Australia. So um, if you're if you have a Cloudways plan like in North America and all your customers are in North America, you're probably still going to be around these numbers anyway. You don't really need a um, content delivery network, but if you've got content distributed around the world, it's obviously good to at least add, um, add on the free plan. And if you want the top best in class um, network delivery, you'd want that enterprise um, solution that we set up today. So that pretty much wraps it up. You can see how easy it was to actually implement this tutorial, get Cloudflare Enterprise up and running on a very cost-effective method using Cloudways with Cloudflare Enterprise. So again, check out that link in the description if you want to try this out. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. But thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.